What up, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me at DMAC underscore LA. Don't forget to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all the latest Dodgers news and rumors, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and I want all your takes right down below in the comment section. I want all your takes on today's topic right down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Today, we're going to celebrate the living legend that is Tommy Lasorda. Tommy Lasorda, he won 1,599 games as the skipper for your Los Angeles Dodgers. He won eight division titles, four NL pennants, and two World Series trophies. Also won an Olympic gold medal. But we've got eight of the most memorable Tommy Lasorda moments. And at the end, I want you to give me your favorite Tommy Lasorda moment down below in the comments. No one bleeds Dodger blue like Tommy Lasorda. Tons of great moments to get into. So let's get right into it. I love this place. Sometimes I sit here and I can't believe it. Blue heaven on earth. And that's what I think. I used to say, hey, if you want to get to heaven, you got to go through Dodger Stadium. Oh, shattered bat, and it catches Tommy Lasorda, who's coaching in the third base coach's box. He pops right back up, and he's all right. Tommy saying, I'm all right. Of course I'm all right. Didn't hurt me. He gets a 9-8 for this. And thank goodness that he's all right. Hey, you kill that guy get over that dugout. Tommy Lasorda has put up a complaint. They want Yupi off the Dodger dugout. He's bugging the Dodger players. This will draw the ire of the fans. yupi has been thrown out of the game. Off the Dodgers <laughs> dugout. Calling somebody no. from security They're over. Call security and remove him from the ballpark. Well, Bob Davidson is really hearing it. This is a first. We've seen it all now, huh? Tommy, he's out there as the Philly fanatic has a stuffed mannequin of a Dodger and Tommy trying to get that fanatic close. You see the physique of the <laughs> of the mannequin. Tommy's a little bit hot, I think, because he's going to move that over now. Look at him go. Now he can't. <laughs> he says, you don't make fun of me or my ball club. <laughs> That's the quickest Tommy's moved all year. We got to mark that down. The quickest Tommy Lasorda moved in 1988 was after the Philly Fanatic on October, or I should say August 28th, against Philadelphia. <laughs> and the Yankees are threatening big time. Lou Pinnell up against Tommy John. And with one out, here's the most talked about play of the series. It's a perfect double play ball, except that Reggie sticks his hip in the way. The ball gets away, the run scores, and I'm screaming for an interference call.
Watson hits it high in the air. The Dodgers for the 1981 champions of baseball. For the first time in history, <laughs> we have a three-way dive for the MVP, Guerrero, Say, and Steve Yake. That's a great, great victory. This is something that has escaped us for a long time. And we wanted that championship so bad. We wanted to bring it back for Peter and his sister Terry. Those are the people that have been great to us. Al Campanis. I want to thank all the Dodgers, all the Dodger organization, everyone who played such a vital role in this victory. What a tremendous win. Before the game, he told me he couldn't do anything. And uh, I was in the dugout planning on the bottom of the ninth inning, how I was going to work the bottom of the ninth inning. When the uh, bat boy came down and told me that Gibson could hit, and I ran up there immediately to find out if it was true or not. And Gibby said, hey, I can hit for you. I said, great. And I just ran out. I didn't give him time to say anything else for fear that he might change his mind. High fly ball into right field. She is gone. In a year that has been so improbable, the impossible has happened. Watch Lasorda. You know, I said it once before, a few days ago, that Kirk Gibson was not the most valuable player, that the most valuable player for the Dodgers was Tinkerbell. But tonight, I think Tinkerbell backed off for Kirk Gibson. When Kirk Gibson came walking out of that dugout, hobbling, walking up to the plate with two outs, three and two, and he hits the ball out of the ballpark on Eckersley. Unbelievable. You talk about excitement, you talk about drama, you talk about Hollywood script. They couldn't have written a finer script than that. And uh, Bob Costas come out publicly and said, this may be the worst team put on the field in the World Series history. This is your cell phone? Well, I ran with that. They've done it like the 1969 Mets. It's the impossible dream revisited. The moment. The A's, a great hitting ball club, hit one set. Nobody thought we could win the division. Nobody thought we could beat the mighty Mets. Nobody thought we could beat the team who won 104 games. No one believes it. They asked me to say a few words and I said, the people in this city better buy tickets because they'll be fighting for tickets in September and October and that we will all be dancing in the streets of Los Angeles in October. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And after each game, when we come in the clubhouse, our theme was how sweet it is to taste the fruits of victory, and Kurt Gibson, give it to me. What is our theme at the end of each game? Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Say it. Oh, yeah! How sweet it is! The fruits of victory! Oh, yeah! What a team! What a team! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I happened to be standing next to the great captain, Pee Wee Reese, that we all loved. And I said, Pee Wee, if someone had walked into the Dodger clubhouse in Ebbets Field in 1955 and said to you, Pee Wee, one of these 25 guys will be managing the Dodgers to a world championship in the year 1981, put them in the order of who do you think it would be? I said, you know where you'd have put me, Pee Wee? 25th. He said, no, you're wrong. I said, where would you have put me? 
He said, 24th. I said, who would you have 25th? He said, Amorose, he couldn't speak English. I've been fortunate enough to win world championships, Cy Young Awards, MVPs, nine rookies of the year, all-star games, but they come and go. But the Hall of Fame is eternity. And I thank God for all of it. And I feel that it won't be too long that my mother will be shaking me and saying, wake up, Tommy. It's time to go to school. I am living a dream. Thank you.